使える候補生としての教授は強き者かえあはい強く持っていますさようかしかしなれど偽りではないがまことでもなしクリスタルよりも尊いものか負けない汝それを忘却の彼方へ捨て去りたくなければ朱雀を去るがいいああのいいその時をこれに迎えるかは何時次第いいな人の身にはせんなき定めか。Hmm. All right. I'm.、Um, what am I doing? All right. We have six hours left. So I may as well, first and foremost, go check on my chickens. Chocobos. <laughs> Same thing, really. And then. Go to Kazusa. So what's it actually say? Blah, 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 blah. I mean, I can only be found with. Oh, you're right, yeah. Blah, blah. Need to visit him with specific characters. Trigger a shortcut scene at first, or be a total of seven scenes that can be seen. And you can visit, revisit Kazuto on a different day with the same character to view it again. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I still have 99 water to burst. Hot damn. Yeah, the only issue with Kazuso is the fact I can't go as Makina. Because I've lo lost access to him. So, if anything, I'd have to do that a different day.、Uh... Alright. Although, it does seem like you can do it regardless. Yeah, it, see, it says Kazu Kazuso can be found when hours blah blah. Total of seven scenes you can be seen, and you can revisit Kazusa on a different day with the same character to view it again. Oh. Well, that's not good. I'll just go through them all, it's no big deal. It's seven, which is a total of. So I'd be able to do three characters. Okay, yeah, that works. No, I don't care. At least then I know I've done all of them. そういえば、フェシュア君の背中に面白いものがあったな。まあ、別にそんなのどうでもいいことなんだけど。Yeah, there we go. It does give you rewards too, so I mean it's not the worst thing. I'll just do it with each of the characters that are on the left. When I say that, it, it lists character or character. So just the ones that are on the left hand side. Mm hmm. The only downside is switching characters is a bit of a pain. Because I have to go all the way back here.、Uh, assignment. Sync. Oh wow, the way she runs. Jesus. Alright. I don't think there's any other place I can easily switch. No, unfortunately not. But never mind. Oh, lordy. I'm here. Matteo. Matteo. Papu, 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 papu. Ow. Looks like I punched my desk. I'm going to get a little bit of time. I'm going Alright. So that's that. So now I need to go back as Deuce. And then I have to waste six hours before I can do another day.
Right. So assignment, loose, shit. So it's loose nine, ace, tray, eight. Okay. So that's all the ones at the moment. The next day will be nine, ace, and tray. And then we'll end on it. Although I do want to play as Keta for the next mission. Yeah. I haven't really done many missions with ranged characters. Yeah. So it's a nice change of pace. There we go. Is it just a Mega Ether? Oh yeah, I need to waste six hours. What can I do then? I've done all the events. I've done all the lectures. Oh shit, that's Kazus's research. Wait, how the fuck? Oh, that's Emina. Why the hell? Ah, uh, whatever. We did all the lectures. All the events. It's literally just people I can talk to. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, oh, oh, crap. One, two, three, four, five, six, six people. Actually, that works out. Except for the last day. I could talk to this guy. Chris Ter Oh, there. It's Hiragi. I just joined the Bahamut squad, but I'm starting to have second thoughts. The Bahamut Squad is a unit that exists for the sole purpose of summoning an Eidolon, in other words, a suicide squad. But I agreed to join them on this on this next mission. Why, you ask? Because my best friend volunteered first. I can't just tell him see you later, can I? Certainly not when I know there won't be a later. If he's willing to give his life to defend the Dominion, then so am I. The mission may be a daunting one, but I have every intention of fighting to the death. Mine, to be precise. Oh dear. Oh yeah, shit. My chocobos. Keep forgetting. Hiya! I mean, do I really need to constantly go to the Chocobo Ranch? Eh, not really, but <laughs> it's enjoyable. Give me my babies! That was a lot of wall Chocobos. Hot damn. Oh shit. Then casual greens. It's only because I'm giving the bloody things greens that there's so many Chocobos. I honestly didn't think that giving them greeds would increase the amount all that much, but it literally triples it. Actually no, it's probably a bit more. I think if you don't give them greens, you end up coming out with either 3 or 4. So it's either 50% more or double. But with guys or greens, or just any greens for that matter, it increases the amount by a bunch. Okay, who's next? We just did deuce nine. All right, easy enough. I must have pressed something wrong. Did I just say no? Oh, it's why? Oh yeah, we're not done yet. We need to talk to three people. Whoops. Right, so we did the Crystarium, Fountain Courtyard. There's two people there. That works. Ba 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 ba. You're what? No, you're a task. Aha, there's one. Where's the other one then? Ah, oh, there they are. So who's this? Yano. Look, there's something I want to talk to you two about. Y you two. Right now, the Dominion is gearing up for a huge operation. They say that we'll be lucky if even half of us make it back in one piece. That includes us. And well. I've always been more of a solo artist than a team player, and I hate the idea of working as a class, but I actually had a lot of fun because of you. Because of you guys. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, well, you know, thanks. Oh. Alright. Different. Wait, are they twins? Not quite. <laughs> they have the exact same animations, though. And we have you. Dominion Legionary. What do you think the deal is with... With that Sid Alstein, what's his game? God knows. 
I get that he wants to dominate all of Orient, but don't you think the way he's going about everything is a is more than a little strange? It just doesn't quite add up. If all he wanted was to take control, then he could he could just subjugate the other three countries through one and be done with it. Sure, there might be revolts, but he could easily quash those. On the other hand, if he just wanted to solve the Empire's energy crisis, I would imagine the Black Tartar's crystal would provide more than enough power. If that's the case, though, how come he's going after all four crystals? I feel like there's something more to whatever he's plotting. More than likely. Usually the case. I don't know, I don't know if it's ever explained. Why are there always four crystals? It's like any Final Fantasy. <laughs> Although I say that, it's mostly just the first one I remember there being four crystals. Because each of the characters you create is uh, one of the crystal bearers. And you have like the... The fire, ice, earth and air crystal, I think is what there is. Right, so there's that. That's another one. Pop up. パプパプパプ。色々見てきたけど、クラサメ君の体やっぱり魅力的だよ。現役を続けてるだけあっていい体してるんだよな。メガバージョン。so there's one. So it was nine ace and someone. Nine ace and tray. Okay. It's just a pain in the ass having to go back and forth. God, I can't believe it. I spent this hour just doing nothing but... Oh, wait. Chocobos. Hiya! <laughs> I've spent an hour just... Well, it's... What happens with the free time? Ha. Oh. I wonder what happens when it comes to... Like, once you finish the game, and you're on New Game Plus. Like, what happens to your chocobos? I really hope they don't get, like, a rest. I mean, if they do, so be it. But my god, that'll suck. Losing out on so many, like, hundreds of chocobos. Just because you finish the game. Maybe it carries over. Who knows? Okay, I thought rolling was quicker, but it seems it isn't. Right, next... Next person is Ace. Alrighty. Whew. Ace, then Treg, then I have to waste six more hours. Well, then I, at least I know I've done Kazusas. Instead of not being entirely sure. Though I will admit, I'm not even paying attention to the cutscenes. Because I'm like, yeah, I've done this before. Alright. Mega Potion! I wonder if the, if the award... Reward... Changes depending on who you take to him. So, for example, we got a Mega Potion then. I wonder if I had gone with King, if I would have got a Mega Ether. Or something entirely different. Maybe it's just a set prize. On the plus side, at least Kazusa gives you something. Whereas Emina, you give her a gift and that's it. Uh, assignment... Trey. Hmm. Alrighty. I just really hope I haven't screwed myself when it comes to Emina. Because I ended up giving her more gifts, because I was like, yeah, I need to. Although I should have just waited and left her the gifts. Maybe her total doesn't... It's like, maybe the total amount of gifts I've given her has gone up higher. <laughs> Fucking hope so. So this is Trez. The only one left is eight. So I'll just switch to it. 
Well, I don't like some of the things he says. The human body is beautiful. Another mega potion! Right, so I have to waste six more hours. Alright, so, who do I need to talk to? Okay, it's the airship landing. Oh! Yeah, I'm noticing the orderly people seem to have a lot of missions. Uh, not missions, like talking points. Seemingly, ever since Arya died, or ever since Arya got shot. We don't know if she died. We just assumed she did. It certainly looked like she did. She got shot. And was lying in a pool of her own blood. So, you know. I still remember Arya, which means that she still must... Well, she must still be alive, right? Oh! I guess she is, then. One of the other orderlies informed me that Arya was shot in the capital. Which is also why you were unable to bring her back. That must have been hard for you. The fact that I retain my memories of her means that she must have escaped the Jaws of Death. I suppose I should thank the Empire for saving her, or at least thank their medical technology. Now all we can do is pray that the Amp is treating her. I would hate to think she would have been better off having not survived. The entry assigned her to my custody has been added to the Rubicus. Okay. I may as well switch cadets here. Uh, the last one I need is it. Very nice. Oh shit. Okay, so the last two people I'll talk to is the orderly in the ready room. And then the class second Moogle in central command. Okay. I'll go to the ready room first. Oh wait, no, I'm a fire dude. Chocobos! How could I forget? Alright, give me my babies. Alright, well we're now out of Gigel Greens, so... Just do that. And we'll, we'll find out just how many this creates. Alrighty. I don't really understand why it has to show us the cutscene of the egg being laid. And also why he says congratulations. Your chocobo is laid an egg. Like, it happens every time, it's not like there's a chance of failure. That should have been something that should have been introduced. Maybe have it be really low. Like a compatibility setting or something. Wait, what the fuck? What is this? Who are you? Our dreadnoughts will be equipped with powerful long-range turrets capable of firing concentrated magic energy. They should be of great use in our airborne battle against the kingdom's uh, wyverns. Why do you have a question mark there? Either way. Class 2nd boasts the highest sorty, sorty rate in all of Academia. Proof that the Dominion depends on us. Yes, we may also have the highest casualty rate, but such is the price of greatness, Kupo. Given that our class is comprised only of the finest combat specialist, it naturally follows that Central Command would deploy them to the front lines, Kupo. Unfortunately, however, coming into constant contact with the enemy means that our class also suffers more casualties than any other Kupo. What's worse is that the cadets who come in to replace those who die receive marching orders before they undergo sufficient training and are thus unlikely to survive. It's a tragic cycle, Koopo. Oh dear. That sounds pretty grim. Does he actually give me anything? That is, cadet, have you been earning SPP? Oh. I mean, yeah, I have. Does he give us anything new? No. No new weapons or anything. The best thing he gives is the Red Beret. Which increases all magic by 26. Is it 26 or 24? 26. What a weird number. A mega remedy? Eh, don't care. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, wait, there we go. Magicite Blaster. I don't know if that's better than a current, though. She has the Mark II. Oh, shit. Got reserves. Why can't I check? View stats. That does not fucking help. Oh, uh, well, whatever. Hmm. It's 
so there's that. Wait. I was gonna look at something, but oh yeah, armory. I'm also curious if they sell any new weapons. Like we never get an inf or never get information to say like new new weapons now available. Oh. Argenic. Maybe not. Buckler. Argenic. Or Argentic, even. It increases it by five, so I would assume these are bad. Yeah, they are. Because that's what he's currently using. Oh, the MTech 2. That is bad. Oh, okay. I should probably get her weapon then. Snow goggles. The ribbon's worth one? Jesus. I mean, I'm getting rid of these. I don't care for them. Not really. Like, they're worthless. Sun visor. Don't want to do that. Rain hood. Actually, what I should do. Yeah, again, I don't really care about these. Fire resistance. Don't care. Oh. Shot buckler. Cupic ring. Get rid of all those. Yeah, they give, you know, 10 HP. 10% HP. Gauntlets is increases it by 10. So many of them have that equipped. Metal Gloves, Ignis Secundus. Get rid. Ignis Tertius. Also get rid. Glacius Secundus, Olga Secundus. Jesus. I hate the Secundus stuff. Oh, the Wizard's Hat. Increases all, all magic. All magic by 12. Bulletproof Vest. Bulletproof Shield. Or Ballistic Shield. Uh, there we go. So what can I buy? In terms of... Not weapons. Oh. Wow, they sell shit! Ugh. Oh, it's gross. Oh, absolutely gross. I thought maybe they'd have something good. Right, I'll go and buy the... Magisite pistol. I didn't know if it, if it was going to be better, so... You know, how's I supposed to know? Alrighty. Magisite Blaster. Oh yeah. And I can equip Keta with that now. There we go, so her attack goes up by three. Not bad. No other, no other benefits though, sadly. Right, now we can go to the... Um, is it the ready room? Yeah, that's where there's another orderly. That's what I mean, we never used to speak to them. But now we do, because of what happened to Arya. Plus it's cool, because it's given us background on Arya. Oh, why the fuck do they always stand behind the portal? Still no news about Arya, I do hope she's alright. I know Arya is soft-spoken, but in spite of her is that demure, demure demeanor, she's actually quite strong-willed. She even volunteered to follow you to Militas because she thought you might need her help. She must be feeling so alone right now, and you must, be, you must bring her back. She went out of her way to help you, won't you do the same for her? The entry on second thought has been added to the Rubicus. Hmm. I mean, it's not like we wanted it to happen. Not... <laughs> yeah. Uh... Right, so now we can go back to Kazusa. And I can safely say, without a shadow of a doubt, that I've done all of the scenes, so far. And Chapter 7 is when Part 2 of his side quest will begin. <laughs> Not the tire. Alrighty. Krasame kun to hisashibri ni hanashita ki ga suru na. Ma, nimmu ga chigau kara shikata nai ka. Demo mata issho ni hitotsu no mokteki o kyouyu suru no mo ii kamo na. Alrighty. Well, there we go, we did it. So wait, if I speak to him, what does he say? Hoping another one of you kids might stop by. Yeah, it's because that excl exclamation point doesn't disappear. I'm like, hmm, maybe there is more. Unless it's just there for one reason or another. I don't know. Okay, so it's Chocobo time. I may just skip till mission day. 
Like, I can't really think what else I could do. No, there's nobody else to talk to. Like, I could do ex an expert trial, but I'd rather just get on with the story. One, two... Okay, we only got two back. I'll just do Chocobo and Chocobo. You know, then we're making a nice, a nice, a nice healthy amount of Chocobos. I really wish I could skip that. Congratulations, partner. Lay laid an egg. Now, as I say, I could do the expert trials, but I'd rather just leave those. Until, like, playthrough 2, maybe? I don't know. Uh... Right, I want to play a Sink... Uh, Keta, not Sink. Sink is a terrible, terrible, terrible... ...person to play as. So, no thank you. Oh, may as well do this. Don't know why the hell I'd want to go there. Yes, do the Alto Crystarium and upgrade some stuff. Fire RF! Magenta! Perfect. And its price goes up. Oh, by nothing. Let me go, we're screwed. What about ice? Oh, pardon me. I need magenta for everything? Oh, wait. Uh. Upgrade the range. It now costs 72. As for lightning, I need sepia. I have none. Oh, yellow. Sure. I think once it gets to like level 40 is when it changes. Or maybe when it gets to level 50. Let's see, does it change from yellow to sepia? Yeah, it do. Well, there you have it. As for defense, cure, I need ivy, green, the done. Oh, the cast time's slower now. Son of a bitch. And we need Verdant again. And I could upgrade these, but I really don't care. Oh yeah, we have re 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 too as well. Which I had forgotten. Pre-workers at all. 115. Oh damn. So what's this? re 2 was designed as magic solely for SP rank holders. Mm hmm? Right, so I can't upgrade anything. But yeah, there's all these. That I could spend my yellow and shit on, but I'm never going to use them because I don't, I don't, I just don't like those magics. Yeah, not really. All right, cool. Oh, there's that. Save time. And I also just don't know if expert trials are worth it at this moment in time. Like when I started to read up about expert trials, all I got from that was. They're basically meant for the second playthrough. But, you know, because I've power leveled a bunch. Maybe I'd be able to do them. And honestly, even on the second playthrough, I will more than likely power level even further. Just so I can get through the second playthrough. Easily as well. So who are you? Oh, just one big misunderstanding. Why don't we send an envoy to Concordia and explain what really happened? I'm sure they would listen to reason. Yeah, I doubt it. Whoa. <laughs> Bye then. Suppose this goes without saying, but I'm on your side. I'm really glad you all made it back from the letters alive. I'm not going to read that. Because I'll read it when we actually start that. Ready to march just takes us to Mission Dare. There we go. Airship landed. Oh. Shit. No! Ah, oh, don't say I fucked it completely. I didn't read it for once, so I was like, I don't need to. All I have to do is go to class zero, and all will be fine. Fuck. God damn it! So who are you? Oh, it's Rem. <laughs> Mike and I will sure be back any moment, won't he? Then again, I suppose you won't have any, you wouldn't have any idea where he might when he might return. Forgive me for asking. What is she gonna turn on us as well? Oh my god. Oh no, here we go. Phew! Is there gonna be a... Oh, I was waiting for a gun back there. As per norm. What's happening now? Is Makina gonna return? Oh. 
まあそのうちひょっこり戻るでしょう<笑>あんたはいつでもめでたいな<笑>褒めても何も出ないよ褒めてねえってあ見つけた見つけたあしなぎいやそんな構えるなよ一応ちゃんとした指示だってんでどんな指示西方の対広告軍の方で予定されてた戦力に穴ができちゃってねクラスゼロからも戦力を回してくれって分かったお前らだと3人でも1個大隊くらいの活躍しちゃうからね期待してるってさああちなみに俺は東方部隊だから空で会った時はよろしくよろしくオーケー Oh, right. That was just a random cutscene. Fair enough. <laughs> no, I thought it was just initiating the mission for some reason. Well, there's the Ganbate, but it's not the one I normally hear. I want to hear it. There it is. Perfect. Now we can begin. Dominion Tribune. Class Zero will deploy to two separate fronts. One squad will engage the Empire on. On land at Big Bridge, while the other will confront Concordia by air at Judeca. Rated apart, sure. First former squad to depart for Big Bridge on the Western Front. Oh, here we go. The Clash on Big Bridge. Oh, this this is two missions. Running from the Empire's relentless onslaught, the Dominion decides to dispatch a unit of cadets for a rear assault. By flanking the enemy and curbing their momentum, the cadets can buy time for Lady Zakatuna. To summon the verboten Eidolon, Clancyra must advance to Big Bridge and eliminate all Imperial, Imperial forces in the area. Wait, so what is this? You'll be forced to split your team into two, so be very mindful of who you send where. Chances to change the team during the mission. Still wise to pick a balanced team for both. Ah, okay. Sure. So this is to participate in this mission. Um, this is the one on land. Bum, 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 bum. I think Trey is always a good idea. We'll go with Trey, Cease, and Queen. Yeah. The top cadets will join your squad. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. This is the Battle of Judeca. Rubrum assigns cadets to airship squadrons. And prepares to engage Concordia in an air battle. Central Command estimates the point of encounter with Concordia's Dragon Fleet to be the airspace over the Strait of Judaca. Class Zero must send a squad of up to 10 to assist in the operation. Oh, right, so this will be everybody else. I mean, why not? Change equipment? No. Select Squad Command. Select Active Member. Right, well, I want to play as Kerta. I might actually play as her as the on the next mission as well. Um, so k a t a s the range. We'll do k a t a Jack, and Seven. Sure. SP support. No! I should just turn that off when I'm recording. Because I'm never going to do it. This is a cool mission. Hmm. Oh my. This kind of reminds me of the first battle of Judeca. No, it kind of reminds me of the end of Final Fantasy VII, where you have to split your team into two separate parties, but it's for a boss fight. Dreadnoughts, Corvettes, Cruisers. Whoa. So this is the Crimson Wings. This is what we have. A total of 63 units. 63 versus their like thousand. Oh 